Welcome to this week's assembly. We are looking at careers, as last week was National Careers Week. Question for you. Before she was a singer, Beyonce was A, a cleaner, a coffee seller, a nightclub promoter, or an amateur magician. She was, in fact, a cleaner. We are now entering the fourth industrial revolution. What were the first three, I hear you say? Well, the first one was a steam engine. The second one, the age of science. The third one, mass production, now currently entering the fourth industrial revolution, which is about the ongoing automation of traditional manufacturing and industrial practices using modern smart technologies such as AI, artificial intelligence, self-driving vehicles, biotechnology, smart speakers like you have in the home, nanotechnology, smart watches, 3D printing, 5G, robotics and quantum computing. Why does this interest you? Well, fourth industrial revolution will bring along self-driving cars, self-saving shops and AI to assist medical professionals. Last week, Amazon opened its first walk-in walk-out store in London with no tills. The fourth industrial revolution will also bring about game fairy development, AI in the home, robotic pets and helpers. Spot, the robot dog, has been developed by Boston Dynamics in America and it costs £55,000. It can help around the house, it can pick up rubbish, it can bring you your washing, it can bring you some food, it can run around the house. And the company has currently sold 400 of them in the last year. But the company is valued at £810 million. Technology is replacing largely manual jobs, but technology needs to be applied by professionals and creative workers in the future. Owing to changes in technology and the fourth industrial revolution, it is estimated that 50% of all employees we need reskilling by 2025. Typical skills for future roles, what you'll need. Building a network of partners and skills. Self-directed learning. Language skills to work globally. Coding and the ability to, un to understand and apply technology. Being able to predict and adapt changes in the working in all areas. And being able to work in a team and lead. LMI. What is LMI and why is it important? LMI stands for Labour Market Information. It's about gathering data about workforces, workplaces and people. For example, what wages people are paid, what hours they work, what their working patterns are, the gender balance in jobs, qualifications needed for jobs, where jobs are and the occupations that will be in the future. Why do I need to know about LMI? Well, knowing certain information makes decision making easier. It answers questions such as, will I need to go to university? How much will I earn? What would I do each day in the job? Do I need to leave home to get those jobs? Where are the best apprenticeships? Which sectors are growing or shrinking in the UK? Skills for the future. Regardless of the roles you undertake in the future, you're going to need these following skills. Curiosity and imagination, asking good questions, accessing and analysing information, understanding the facts, agility and adaptability, being able to change constantly, initiative and entrepreneurship, being creative and business minded, collaboration and leading with influence, teamwork and leadership good oral and written communication, being understood, critical thinking and problem solving, being able to see solutions to problems. If you want to, stay and work near your home, have a good grasp of pay in your area and career choices, and to find jobs where posts have secure long-term contracts, you will need the latest LMI. Your future is in your hands, Local market information can help you decide on your future career. We have on our website a Shape the Future booklet, 
You can either go on the website and find it, the local information for York and North Yorkshire about jobs and sectors, or if you, you can click the link. What would the future of work look like? You can download the following guide and have a look. And further information, there's some links on this slide. Thank you very, very much for listening today. Good luck with your future.